How many keys are on that key ring? She's going through all of them. And guess what? I guarantee it's going to be the last one, right? Now, if you had started on the other end, Irma, you would have been done by now. Hold F. Quick nap, all right, buddy? But nothing too long. Irma, guard. What is going on? Hey, guys and gals. Welcome to Distrust. Today is August 24th, 2017 at the time of this recording. And Distrust came out on Steam yesterday on the 23rd. It is a full release, not an early access game, so we have to assume that it is complete uh, and relatively bug-free, I suppose. We'll find out once we get going. But uh, it caught my eye because, literally, the Steam description is this. Inspired by John Carpenter's The Thing. Yeah, that's all I needed to hear. I love these settings. If you know anything about me and what I do here on YouTube, I have mentioned several times that I love these bleak, remote, snowy settings with some kind of mystery backdrop, um, basically like the thing. It's also a big plus that this game plays and feels a lot like XCOM, like original XCOM, kind of an isometric top-down view. Um, also like Jagged Alliance, I guess you could say, Silent Storm. So yeah, it brings back a lot of fond memories of some old games. Um, yeah, let's jump in and play. You got to see it. But first, let's get the nitty gritty out of the way. So this is by Cheer Dealers. It is on Steam right now. I'll put a link down below, of course. It's $11.99 normally on sale for $9.59 US monies. It's for Windows only and single player only. So let's jump in and get rolling with a new game. We can skip the tutorial, by the way. I've already done that, so I have kind of a, an understanding of the basic controls and so forth. So let's just jump right in to the meat and the taters. Difficulty level. Let's go with, I think, adventure is what we want for the YouTubes, which offers a good balance between challenge and ease of play. This is a good mode for beginners. Well, that's us. Beginning at, at this game, anyway. Maybe not this type of game, but yeah, let's just do that. Uh, we have to select our team here. It looks like we have two free slots. And one locked slot. So, oh boy, who are we going to choose? we got Olaf Haraldsson here. He's the head of housekeeping, which makes him the most important person on the base. Oh, well, all right, that's a given. And he's got a lovely sweater. And I think we should have a girl and boy. How about Irma Dillinger? A successful polar expedition requires different kinds of experts. Irma is a psychologist. Her training allows her to remain relaxed and focused in the most critical situation situations and she's pretty well balanced uh let's yeah let's throw her in there and unfortunately we have to leave james abrams behind his grandfather was among the first to conquer the arctic during his yeah, i see he'd be pretty useful too and he's very good uh he's got a super high cold resistance but he's kind of slow isn't he? yeah this is fine we're gonna go with olaf and irma and all right well that's it let's roll your goal in each zone is to find the exit. Okay. Press space to pause the game and look around. That's a good tip. Spherical anomalies don't cause damage through the wall. Alright. Click to continue. Okay. And here we be. Awesome. So yeah, we can scroll in and out with the mouse wheel, which is very nice. It's point and click to move and uh, WASD to move the camera around and we can spin it with Q and E in case you were curious uh, by the way there was a plane cra uh, helicopter crash in the beginning of the game actually when you first start it up it does this cutscene I don't know why they don't play it when you start up a new game which seems kind of silly but they uh, they crash and here they are and we are the last the only survivors alright it looked like Olaf had something to say what was on your mind Olaf and now I don't I can't seem to get it back but let's get we gotta get warmth it's freezing to death out here there is a building here so let's choose Olaf I wonder if we can do both at the same time no it doesn't look like it alright let's run over here go Irma run follow Olaf Olaf's a housekeeper let's go keep house get that door and let's get inside before we freeze to death oh yeah get in everybody in no why you go there Olaf, come over here in this room first. All right, it's going to take me a minute here to get used to these controls, but this was sort of in the tutorial, a room like this where we had to get into a building where there's some heat, there's a furnace going, which it looks like it's actually, it is already going, right? It's burning something, and we have a generator providing energy already as well, which is super convenient, but obviously it's going to run out, same as the, uh, the furnace. Got a sack of coal here that we can pick up, I suppose. 
and put it in the uh, furnace need be. Let's hit spacebar and, and pause it. Yeah, that's cool. You know what's funny is I didn't even do that in the tutorial. I didn't know that you could pause it. So that's something that the developer should add, I think. Or maybe I just missed it. So while the game is paused, let's have a look about. Uh, those are just the options and so forth and the current mission. You know what? I can barely see that because my, um, my DX story overlay is right there. I'm going to move it to the center and I just took a screenshot. That's okay. Yeah, right there is better for me. So in the right hand side, we have the stats of the uh, current uh, Polar Explorer. We have Warmth, Stamina, and Satiety, which is basically hunger, right? Um, this arrow here is very much like it is in the long dark. It shows that it's dropping right now. And the number of arrows indicates how quickly it's dropping. So not dropping too fast right now is not much of a concern. And then we have our map. And I don't have much experience with the map, but it shows you what we can see in the map. Pretty cool stuff. We're in zone one and we got to get to that zone maybe, I suppose. And we have an inventory here. You can just drag and drop stuff right onto your Polar Explorers. And it looks like we're going to be able to get a third eventually. It's too bad we just couldn't bring uh, James Adams with us right from the get-go. Uh, what else we have here? We have tools. I don't think we have any tools right now. So we don't have to worry about that at the mall. At the mall. At the mall. Can I carry a big sack of coal? Or we should just leave it right there. I think we ought to just leave it right there. And we'll just come back for it later. All right. Hey, Irma. Follow Olaf. I wish you could grab them both at the same time, but I don't think you can. Find exit to the zone. So here's what we do. We loot. You loot that. Irma and Olaf is going to grab the nightstand. Okay, I'm not sure who found this, but it's a note. We couldn't wait for you. The anomalies are out of control. Mitch and I left instructions for how to fight them in the next medical unit. They're the result of careful observation, so follow them to the letter. Alas, this is the end for me. I'm going to sleep, never to wake. All right, so yeah, something happened at this base. Something bad. Oh, Irma found a light jacket. Ooh, stick that on, girl. You finders keepers, put it on. There we go. And does it ship on her in the game? Uh, in the universe, I think so. Um, yeah, so something happened at this base, and we obviously are here and must investigate it and figure out what's happening. But if you've ever seen St uh, Stephen King, John uh, Carpenter, Car oh, see, now we're going to talk. How do I make you talk? Oh, they say it down here. What luck? These must be the keys that unlock the doors on the base. But which key goes with, with which door? That's a good question, Irma. Um, but if you've ever seen um, Carpenter's The Thing, you know that when people slept, they, uh, they got some kind of weird infection or something. So they had to try to stay awake. And they all lost their mind. Or well, you lose your mind over time. And you can't trust anyone because you don't know who's been infected and who's bad and who's good. And uh, what? Go back to that nightstand. And it was really tense in a great movie. Oh, can I take this thing? That's where the note is. All right, I guess I just leave it there. But we've got to get to the medical unit. Seems like... Doesn't look like we can search anything else in here. I think if we can search it, it's going to have a little blue border. Well, if we can interact with it anyway. Should we shut this thing off? I don't know if we can. Seems like it's wasting um, energy. No, you can only interact it with these little buttons up here. And if you don't have a button available, then you can't do anything with it. So it's just going to burn, burn, and burn. Same goes for that. All right, well, that's that's good to know. Let's uh, let's get to the medical wing, which is... Oh, boy. So we can scroll around the map. It's the helicopter crash. And see what's out there. And we're going to have to make a run for it. Here's a door here. All right, Irma, ready? All right, Olaf leads. Irma, follow. Go. Run it out. Stick together. All right, let's go run it out here across the snowy field. Uh, oh, what's this? A flashlight. I don't know how that popped out, but it just popped out. Things pop out in the Arctic occasionally. Just got a deal. Get in there, Olaf. Thanks for holding the door, Irma. Appreciate it. Uh, let's spin this around, and we'll have Olaf check out that cabinet. Go! Irma, stand next to him just in case something pops out and he needs backup. Man, that takes a long time. Oh, look at this. It's got a pinball machine. 
Cigarettes. Uh, Olaf doesn't smoke. Armin, do you smoke? Maybe Irma smokes. What else we got? Let's go check out that nightstand. Irma? And while she's doing that, brother, you go check out this nightstand. Irma wins. Sterile bandages. Ooh, that could come in handy. And Olaf has a lock pick. Oh, nice. So now we have keys and a lock pick, so we can unlock a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we can play with the pinball machine, unfortunately. So you can open and close windows, and it seems warm in this room right here. So the warmth is stable. Temperatures are stable. Uh, all right. So we got to go in... Oh, this, wait, is this a door? Oh, we can unlock this thing with the lockpick or the keys. Irma, do you have the keys? What's the keys? Save the lockpick. We don't even have any weapons, so I was going to say, Olaf, can you back her up? But what with? Holy smokes, does it really take that long to open a door with keys? How many keys are on that key ring? All right, seems like a lot. She's going through all of them. And guess what? I guarantee it's going to be the last one, right? Now, if you had started on the other end, Irma, you would have been done by now. Ugh, Irma. It's the cold. I get it. It affects your brains. Makes you make dumb decisions. Modest ration. The character grows hungry slower in regard for... Burp, burp. Oh, look at that. See, she just she's a, eats like a bird. Eats like a bird, little Irma. Come on. Good job, Irma. She found the right key. Check that desk, would you? Hold up. We haven't been able to determine what brings out the materialization of the anomalous objects. However, Dr. Ishimura proposed a compelling hypothesis. According to his data, the materialization occurs in the presence of high concentrations of delta waves produced by the human brain during sleep. Right! You don't want to sleep. It's like Freddy Krueger. You don't want to go to sleep. It's nothing about dreams or anything, but something happens to your brain while you're sleeping. Um, the virusy thing happens. All right, well, that's good to know. Doesn't look like there's anything else we can do here. Are these doors unlocked? Yeah, Olaf. Why don't you get this one, Irma? Come on with. Uh, here's another room with fire. So that's why this, this building is actually warm right now. So this provides heat and energy for the entire place. Let's check that bag. And I guess we will pick up the sack of coal. I don't know if there's like a weight limit or anything. But I suppose while we're here, we should snatch it up, right? Holy cow. It's taken Irma a really long time to pick it up, though. All right, you got it. So that was only one coal. Yeah. All right, you know what? Let's hold, pause it for a second and let's bring up the inventory. I don't know if there's a weight limit. It may not be, which means it would make sense for us to head back and grab that other bag of coal. Because it's only one, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. We're going to run all the way back. I probably should have just tried. Dang it. All right. Yeah, let's just go back and get that coal. And I'm also wondering if there's some kind of a save option. Ugh! Save and quit. There is... All right, um, I'm going to save it right here and quit and then come right back just in case there's some kind of an accident with my recording software. It happens occasionally and I end up losing progress and I don't like that. So I'm going to save it, quit, come right back, and hopefully we're right where we is. There's no stupid checkpoints or anything. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, we're back right where we left. Off. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, developers, for providing an intelligent save system. Instead of those silly checkpoint things. Yeah, these guys do a lot right, I've noticed. And I definitely appreciate it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Over here. The door. Can we not get that door? Oh, we can get that door. Get in there. Uh, there was something else they did that I appreciated, but I don't remember. Oh, it was pausing. Right, when you go into your inventory, the game pauses right here. All time pauses in the background. That's nice. And also just having an explicit pause button where you can just stop everything and use your head for a second and think. Collect your thoughts. I like that. Uh, looks like we can sleep here, but we know what happens when you sleep, don't we? But we are getting a little bit tired. A tired character loses health points. Oh. So we are going to have to sleep. But maybe, maybe do it in shifts. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Oh, hold on. Those creatures are man-eaters. People are going to sleep and never waking up. We're trying to stay awake. I hope it keeps us safe. All right, well, let's check. We can't check that. No, come on back. 
I am kind of missing some of these things, aren't I? Alright, so Irma's going to get that nightstand there. Doors close. Temperatures are stables. Uh, I meant windows. Uh, what was that? What was that thing? Check it out. It eggs? Old pills! Oh! These pills are past their expiration date, but might still be able to remedy case of poisoning. Oh, I thought they were maybe like, um, awake pills. Yes. What are those called? Awake pills. <laughs> pills that keep you awake. Oh, well, they're not sleeping pills if they keep you awake. Sleeping pills make you sleep, right? Uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, awake. I'm going to call them awake pills. Well, we don't have them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm wondering if Olaf can get a quick snooze here. Let's check the whole building first, because I'm thinking maybe there's something else useful here. Maybe there are some awake pills. Coffee! Coffee would be nice. Alright, Olaf is going to work on that locker, and... What you got? Insulating tape! I bet we can use that on windows. Dang, you cut your... Oh, you cut yourself, you dang fool! Well, it's okay, because Irma has bandages. Irma, get in here and help this big lug over here, would you? Let's bring up that inventory. Um, so we have a combined global inventory, which is super awesome. And we just drag and drop. This was part of the tutorial, by the way. Just drag and drop on Olaf. Time is still paused. This is how I figured out it was paused. Even though I hit the pause button, that has nothing to do with it. Um, then there we go. So you can give actions, uh, give orders for actions in the inventory, and then they carry them out to the best of their ability. And my guess is that was scripted right there, just to... Show you that it's a dangerous place here in the Arctic. Cut yourself on who knows what. All right, it's out of reach. Let's go. Nothing else in there. We got the bookshelf. We got the nightstand. Right? Did we get the nightstand? Pretty sure. That's where we got them pills. And I think what we got. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, there's another. The dirty bandage. Ew. What does that mean? Does that mean we have to clean it or something? Where is it? Dirty bandage. Bandages like this might stop a wound from bleeding, but they're old and might do more harm than good. Okay, well, there's a risk in using those, apparently. Keys do not degrade. That's kind of nice. Do not let me forget to go back and get that coal. Uh, yeah. Stamina is a little... I think we're going to take a risk here and just... Hold off. Quick nap, all right, buddy? Nothing too long. Irma, guard... What is going on? There's little lights. Oh, gosh. Olaf, we might have to get you up, buddy. So these are the anomalies, I think. And Irma's standing right in them. But I don't know how to avoid that. We should probably be sleeping at the, should we sleep at the same time. Sure. They seem friendly. So this is where we start to lose our mind or something, I think. All right, I got to get Olaf. Olaf, Olaf, pop up. Each character's... Oh, 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 cancel! You can't scare him away? I guess you can't scare him away. Alright, well, let's let uh, Irma get some sleep here. And yeah, we're gonna need some food pretty soon, too. So, I don't, I don't... Is this... Where's the bar that indicates... It, whoa! An anomaly is close! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Uh, the character's busy. I know. Oh, that's the anomaly over there! Get up, girl! Oh gosh. Anomalies can't come through walls though, remember? So that's the anomaly right there. That's the dangerous thing. Oh god, I don't know what to do. Let's run! Get away from it. Just get away from it. It's making them scared. What is this right here? Anomalous activity. Do not approach it. Oh, I won't. Doesn't look like you can get in. Let's hide. Let's keep an eye on that thing, huh? Does it only come when you're asleep? It's got a little heart. Maybe, maybe it's friendly. It's just looking for love. In all the wrong places. Alright, furnace and, and generator. Whoa! Oh, it wants to get in here it's so bad. Anomaly has come, but it looks like a world, our world makes it sick. It's good to know. Now, what's wrong with, uh girl here. She requires attention. What's the matter? Let's see. What is wrong with her? 
Okay, I don't see exactly what is wrong with her. She's got the same issue that Olaf has, but at least he's not complaining about it. All right, we gotta go. Where's the door? Let's get out of here. Let's get back. Where can we go? Does that thing ever leave? Unfortunately, it's by the only exit, which is right there. Well, let's check the map. I'm gonna pause it and check the map. Oh man, there's a lot more buildings that we haven't even checked. Okay. Let's have a look around here in pause mode to see where we need to run to next. Oh, okay, here's a massive structure over here. Well, let's go that way. If we can get out of here, that is. Alright, let's wait for this thing to go on the other side of the building and then we just have to run for it. And it doesn't look like we're going to get that coal. Oh wait, it's gone! It went poof. Whew, okay, it went poof. How's everybody doing? Um, Olaf's getting a little hungry and he's not, uh, he didn't really sleep very well. But that doesn't matter, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go now. So if you double click a character's number or something and hold it down, the camera stays on that character, but then it leaves the other character behind. Alright, well, I don't like that. Yeah, let's, uh, oh, that coal, we're probably gonna need it. All right, let's go. Go. Get the coal. Quick. Run it. So these two are pretty fast, right? I think Irma's really quick. Faster than that other guy. All right, Irma, can you grab that coal, please? We did check that nightstand, right? Why does it still show? There was just a note in here. Yeah, I don't know why. All right, let's go. What is this? Oh, you can put stuff in it, right? Now that we have fuel, we can put fuel in there, but we don't need the fuel. All right, let's go. I wish there were a way to grab both of these guys at the same time. But it doesn't look like there is. Or if there is, I'm missing it. We gotta run it out. Yeah, poor Olaf did not get very much sleep. He's still, he's still tired, look at him. You think there's anything inside here? No, it's all, like, boarded up or closed or blocked off. Where's the dang door? Go, 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 run right to the door. There's got to be some food in here. All right, open it up. In we go. In we go. Okay, temperatures here are good. Stable. It must be a furnace or something around. Some kind of... Um, warmth generator and this looks like a medical area I see medical I see like test tubes and stuffs yeah this must be the medical place small first aid cabinet it sure is and uh, Irma can you check that toolbox please what is that okay that's just her digging around in there it sounded like a creepy thing creepy crawly but it's not so now we have pills it can cure a multitude of illnesses. And then the, these are the old ones. Might make you sicker if you try them. Alrighty then. Anything else in this medical room that we can go through? Oh yeah, lots. Medical station. And another toolbox. And we need to find some food. Hopefully there's a uh, cafeteria in here. Irma. Go check out that little cabinet there. And let's see what we got. We got adrenaline. Ooh, a shot of adrenaline could be nice. Adrenaline is the only thing that can bring an explorer out of a coma. That makes it very valuable. <laughs> I suppose it does. Olaf. What you got there, buddy? Oh, yes, yeah, so a first aid kit. Super handy, and it looks like it's in good shape. The contents of the first aid kit restore health and can be used to treat a cold. <sighs> yeah, so we're stocking up on some goodies. All right. Uh, oh, wait, there's one more little toolbox here. Wait, we checked the toolbox, didn't we? Oh, don't make me go through it again. You gotta remove the blue thing. Oh, I guess we didn't go through that one. Oh, no, I think... Uh, what's wrong with Irma? She's going really slow now. So is... So is Olaf. Maybe we're heavy. I think we're carrying too much stuff now. So there is encumbrance. Okay, then. 
All right, we're going to call it quits right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Distrust. We, there will be more. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.